brothers and sisters, at this particular juncture, I want to, I want to coin a question. And that question is, what is our relationship with our parents? Right now, I want you to ask yourself, what is our relationship with our parents? Are we diligent children with our parents? Are our parents truly happy with us? Are there days in our parents' lives when they sit and they wish we would be different children to what we are? Ask yourself this question, especially our mothers. Because Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wasallam taught us about how the mother has a precedence in our lives over the father. And to make us understand this better, I want you to imagine a mother who writes a letter to her child. What do you think this mother would say in her letter? Would she not say, My dear son, a long time ago, I received the best news a mother can receive, a human being can receive. And that was the news when I was informed that I was pregnant with you. And my dear child, I cannot express how happy I was on that day. And weeks passed by after that. And my body started changing. And I was scared because I could not eat except that I would vomit what I ate. And I would feel weak. And my body started expanding as you grew in me. And my dear child, I promise you that with all the fear that I had, I was loving you more with every day that passed. Even though all this was happening to me, the day that I held you became even more dearer to me. And my dear child, those weeks became months. And I became even more heavier to such an extent where I couldn't stand for long. I couldn't walk for long. And then a time came when I couldn't even sleep on my back because of the weight of carrying you would cause immense pain on my chest. So I would sleep on my side. But I would fear when I would turn to my side that I might roll onto my stomach and harm you. That was a fear in my mind, my dear child. But I would try my best. And every day that passed, my love for you grew stronger. And my desire to hold you grew stronger. Until my dear child, a day came when I felt a pain that I never ever felt in my life before. A pain in which I thought I would die. Wallahi, I thought I was going to die. A pain which I would not wish that my enemy felt. And it was the day when you were about to enter this world. And it lasted for long. Pain after pain. Contraction after contraction. Second after second. Minute after minute. By Allah, it felt like a lifetime. I thought I wouldn't survive from this. But I promise you, my dear child, that there was never a moment, never a moment that I hated you during that process. Never a moment where I said an evil word to you or an evil word about you. Rather, my desire for you, my desire to hold you, my desire to see you kept me going. That inshallah it's soon. That inshallah it's soon. And I carried on going. I never ever said that I will take revenge over you after you're born. I never ever said that woe to you. Woe to you. I never uttered a word of enmity and hatred towards you as I suffered these pangs that felt like the pangs of death. And then my dear son, or my dear child, you entered this world. And when I saw you, the pangs of death that I thought I felt dissipated. And the tears that I had in my eyes became tears of joy. And the hurt that I felt in my body became a hurt of joy as I held you and brought you to my chest and smiled and said, Subhana Rabbi Al-A'la. Allah has blessed us with a great blessing. And then my dear child did never stop there. For the sleepless nights came after. Why sleepless nights, my dear child? Because I could not tolerate. I could not tolerate you crying one bit. I would be so tired from looking after you during the day. 
that when I finally got some sleep and you made one sound, it woke me up immediately because it would hurt me that you would be uncomfortable. So I got up and said, rather I be uncomfortable than you be uncomfortable. Allahu Akbar. This is what she probably would write. And I would pick you up and pat your back and make sure you fed and make sure the milk is at the right temperature so that you would experience utmost comfort. And then you grew up, my dear child. I saw you walking and before that crawling. And then a day came which was difficult for me. And that was the day when I had to take you to school. And I held your hand, my dear child. And I took you to school and you cried there. And I cried too, but I had to hold my tears because I knew it was good for you to be there. And I didn't want to make you upset that I was upset as well. So I held my emotions and left you there. And then my dear child, you grew in that school and you developed independence and you did things for yourself. Until a day came in your, in your life and in my life when I was so happy for you, but I was extremely sad as well. And that was the day, my dear child and my dear son, when you were getting married, when you found someone to get married to. I was so happy for you when I saw your happiness. But I was so sad as well. Why? Because my dear child, those few things which I love doing for you, somebody else is going to do them for you now. Wow.